What's going on guys? Tells 6 here with Weekly Review. And today, as we all know, today is this big Super Bowl going on and everything. But also, today is a new update review for what's going on with Weekly Reviews. So, while I'm talking, y'all are going to see me eat some uh, queso too. I got me some queso and rotel, so. Mmm. I love rotel. I love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on first off. Number one. We have a couple pre-orders that we're getting ready to have bring in, like for instance, the one that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about now, is the pre-order for the 3DS. Yes, I have had my pre-order put down uh, on the 28th of January, so I will be getting that on day one. I also put down um, another $40 to cover for the expenses for that as well as an extra $15, $20 for both Pokemon Black and White versions. So, otherwise, uh, I traded in a few games recently to be able to put down the money for the 3DS and some other stuff, and I'll go ahead and talk about that real quick. Uh, I sold Darksiders on the PS3 for $6.60. I sold Need for Speed Pro Street for $8.80. And basically got about $15.40 back. Next, uh, <clears throat> traded in a bunch of PSP games. As you guys can see right there on that list, that's on the list with the uh, 3DS when I first bought it. So that's a pretty long list, but mostly a bunch of uh, old PSP games and some PS2 ones that I don't play. So we'll go through them real quick. Uh, Super Bust Move went ahead and got. A uh, dollar and twelve cents. Super Bust Move Two got a dollar twenty one cents. Luminous Plus thirty nine cents. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters for PSP dollar sixty. Uh, God of War Chains of Olympus got four dollars. Bust Move Deluxe on PSP got two dollars and forty cents. Loco Roco Two four dollars. Burnout Legends on the PSP four dollars. And Assassin's Creed, $8. And I also traded in Dragon Age Origins for the PS3 for $9.60. So, basically from all that, I went ahead and put down on the 3DS, and I will be getting the blue one. So, otherwise, um, haven't been buying any games lately, because like I said, I've been setting up for the pre-orders for the Pokemon games, the Pokemon Black and White. I'm going to be giving... Uh, one of those versions to my niece actually so we're gonna try to come up with an idea on which one she would want try to get a little uh, thing to make it so she doesn't really know about it because she doesn't watch any of my videos or nothing but then again she's just turning about I think she's almost about seven years old now so I went ahead and decided well go ahead and get her that oh also I did pick up a uh, finally like everybody's been like oh you're finally getting this now but I went and got me a Street Fighter 4 fight pad with the Ken logo on the front, but I actually like this controller. I mean, I'm not really fond of third-person controllers, as you guys know from my bad reviews and all that kind of crap, but I actually like this. It's a good controller. It's a good wireless controller. It feels good in your hands. I would have liked it if they made, like, a grip thing on the sides. It would have made it even better. I mean, like, it has good handling and everything, but otherwise, it would have been nice if they added, like, some little grips. I mean, I know it has like a little tiny grip on it, but I would like one of those little uh, textured grips. But what can you do? Um, otherwise, as you guys know, I will be having uh, some reviews coming out this month. I have uh, Spyro 2 coming out. Uh, we have what I thought I was going to be doing was Kingdom Hearts uh, Recoded. But unfortunately, I'm still not able to beat the game. I'm stuck on a portion where I just... I can't beat it and I'm on I'm using it on easy still you can laugh if you want at me but usually I start on a game easy first because if I go ahead and start right off hard I'll never beat the game that's how I did with God of War when I first started in God of War I went from easy to medium to hard and I still can't beat hard all the way yet but anyway um not really much else is going on otherwise though. I mean, I've been catching up on a few games. I did recently be enslaved on the PS3. Uh, I did go ahead and go back to some of my older games. I went back to Kirby's Epic Yarn again and I played it again. Um, I've been busy with Super Street Fighter 4 trying to get 
better at that. Maybe one day I'll take you on space. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe one day. But I know still you'll kick my ass. Um, not really much else has been going on otherwise, though. I mean, been trading in some games to put down for my pre-orders. Um, I will be having a new Sonic shirt coming in from uh, GameStop. I got a... Uh, I traded in my GameStop power uh, rewards points, and I purchased a Sonic shirt, so it's going to be nice. I don't know when it's going to come in the mail exactly yet, but I'm going to be glad whenever it does. So, otherwise, not much else is going on, though, guys. Um, like I said, going to be having those videos. Um... I might have the unboxings for the uh, shirt. I don't think I will, though. I mean, the only shirt I actually had an unboxing for was the Super Meat Boy one, but I don't know. I mean, I might do it. I don't know. Maybe if you want in the comments, you can tell me if you want me to. But otherwise, um, oh, yeah, I actually did pick up one other thing. Y'all can laugh if you want at it, but it was actually something to use for me to help for my Game Boy games and stuff. I'm trying to move around some stuff in my room to make it so I have a little bit more spots for my games to go ahead and stay because most of them are down over in my cabinet right here. Can't really see it, but when you go in there, there's where all my games are. And all my systems right there. As you can see, I got a little mess. I got to clean it up, but I'll be getting that later. So, otherwise, though, I went and picked up a Yoshi backpack thing and actually. I don't use it for going around or anything like that. I mean, you can wear it and everything, and it looks kind of cool. But I use it more for my Game Boy games. Like, I have all my Game Boy games stashed in this whole thing. And you can just open his back, and you take a look at all the Game Boy games. Whoops. And he's already having them pull out of them. But I have all my Game Boy Advance and all my regular Game Boy games in here, so I'll know exactly where they're at. So... Pretty nice little thing. I only paid fifteen dollars for it though, and he's just cute to carry around. So anyway, guys, um, this was just a real quick update. Nothing big, nothing fancy, but anyway, guys, um, see y'all later. I will be having up a Spyro Two review hopefully in the next several days. So until then, guys, take care. Later.